Hi guys and welcome to Aunt Di's craft room. I'm Aunt Di if you don't already know. I am a cricket fanatic, crafting, loving grandma of two, mom of three. And I hope you've been enjoying so far my Christmas card a day. Uh, today we are going to be making this cute little rocking horse 3D card that fits right inside the envelope that comes with it for you to make. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm going to show you what you need to do when you first get your files into uh, Design Space from SVG Cuts. Um, we're going to start by ungrouping. We need to change score lines or cut lines into score lines. So let's go down to this one and see here the rocking horse. Both are cuts. That's not what we need. We need this one to be score. So just highlight it here. Go over to your line type and click score. Once you do that, make sure you click both layers and attach it. You want those score lines to stay put. Now you're going to have score lines also with your envelope. That is what this is, this blacked out area. That is supposed to be our score line. So highlight it, go over to your line type, and change it to score. Make sure you highlight both pieces now and attach. Once you go through and do all of that, and add a sentiment if you want, you're going to go ahead and cut your layers out. Something else you could do is the main here is set to also cut. If you wanted to, set it to draw and it will draw those lines out instead and attach. Do the same thing for the other part of the main. Set it to draw and attach. And now it's going to draw those parts out instead of cutting them. So, so let's go get this cut and I'll meet you back here and we'll put it together. Okay, so this is your front piece of your horse. It has it so that you can put your sentiment there. This is just to give it a little bit more detail. So we're going to start with that piece. Let's add some glue. My container must be getting low. And position them here in the center of these two circles. Just like so. Now we need to get our two pieces for our sentiment. And I think I'll just do a quick go over with my two-way tape this time. Match that up. Like so. And we're going to attach it right there. Oops, pulled the paper up. And attach. Don't do what I did. Don't mess the paper up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue the horse body onto, onto the black. Um, I need some glue. I 
right and just go right over his body in black with the white card giving him some hoofs lining it up the best you can and there's that part and we're going to continue on now I'm going to attach the two pieces to the saddle you have your green and you have your saddle piece so just go ahead and add your glue so that you can get them matched up like so put that aside and I'm going to get the bridle bridle brat the mouthpiece <laughs> And I'm just going to add the glue to that. And get him figured out here. So we're just lining up the pieces and getting them. Should be a teeny tiny piece of hair. Oh, let's get the tweezers. Right there, teeny tiny. That is going to be going right over that spot there. So just put him right. over that just like so I have some glue stick in here and put that the saddle, saddle on them and place them into position Here's his tail. Place him down. And his mane. Then go ahead and just put that aside. And we're going to grab the back layer. And you're going to attach. Well, first, I got to clean this up. This didn't cut too nice. sometimes there we go just remove that right out of there so now what you need to do is you're going to glue this red layer over top of your black layer so I'm just going to add glue to the black layer so I don't get it going through the hole like I did with the other side I 
like so and place your red layer on top. Like so. Next you're going to add your sentiment to the back. So I'm just going to, luckily I had some glue there. So I'm just going to put that in there. We're going to need to be flipping it over so that we can decor on this side. Okay, now we're going to work on, as this continues to dry, the inside layer. So this is your back. You flip it over, that's your inside. We're going to work on that. So, we've got some flowers to put together. Let's get the two white flowers. We've got our two pieces here. And we're just going to add a little dot of glue in the center. Get my bubble out of the way. And glue it so that the they fill each other in. So it's filled in. And then you're just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom. Going to be going approximately there. So Just add a little bit of glue in a couple spots. Hopefully it will catch it. And glue that there. Get one of your centers. Add some glue and stick that right in the middle. Now we're going to do the present. That's hiding back here. So I'm just going to grab some two-way tape and run it on that and put him in position. I'm going to sort of stick him under the flower a little bit. No, maybe not. He's going over. Okay, put that on. And then this was just a piece for the top of it. I never even thought of it. I would have made it better color choices. And we have this present. That needs to go on. that in place. We have the ball. I'm going to put the ball down. And before I go any further, I am going to get a pen. Oh, let's go gray and, I don't know, orange, and I am just going to sort of make the ball a little stand out. While I'm doing that, I'm going to grab my front and one of my fine markers 
and I'm going to sort of do the same thing, give it some hair. Do the same thing for the tail. There. Now, continue back to your black. Now, if you want, you could add some something to that. What could I add to that? Could even add a small strip of rhinestones. And for just a different color, I think I'm going to do it in blue. So I've got some very tiny ones here. And I'm just going to carefully run them along the top of the lid. And I'm going to do it also on the bottom of the lid. And just pull them apart. I was just going to add a little, little something. Okay, what did I do with the tree now? Oh, don't do what I did and lose the tree. Oh, there's the tree. So we're going to put the tree in. I'm going to pop dot it just so it can stick up. I don't want my round ones. I don't want those ones. There they are. So get your tree and some pop dots or foam dots and just stick some on. Pull the tabbies off, like so, and you can see where the top of the tree is supposed to be, right there by the present, okay, there, right there is where the top of the tree is supposed to be. So just do your best to get that lined up, like so. Not looking nice. And now we're going to glue our red flowers together. You've got a small one and a big one. So glue those together. And they're going to be going over here. Like something like that. you could use a pop dot for also. Which I think we might not. I don't have a place for it to sit. Come on, turn around. Yeah. I think we'll just add a little bit of glue here, 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 and here. And hopefully one of those spots stick. Try not to have anything, but all your decor, this one needs to go up a bit, up above the base, don't have it below, like I just did that when I ripped it, the, there, we'll tuck it back in, no one will even notice, and this one's getting the green center. that right in place and that's that edge done one the flower is going to be going over here 
go something like that. And then the green, or the red center. Like that. And the last piece is this one. So let's just go ahead and get it all folded so that we can figure out how it goes. Before we do that, I want this doesn't even belong here to check out some other stuff I have up here. I have hmm. Just want to see what I can do to sort of add some more. So I'm just gonna get the red here and add a couple of little cherries there. And I think that's all going to do. So what you do now is you're going to fold your pieces and make yourself a box or a rectangle. Okay, and just give it a glue. Hold it for a moment. Now you're going to be gluing it right to there, right where that space is. So, oh, excuse my tummy. I think for this, just to be quick and fast, I'm just going to use a couple go overs of two way tape. And then I'm just going to place that in the center of him, like so. Rub that extra tape off there that I have. Like so. Get him. I'm going to add two-way tape right to the back because you can see where it's going to be going. I'm going to stand them up so I can see what I'm doing and eyeball in this way also I can try to get them standing up at the right height and then just push it into place. You can bend up your flowers a bit if you like. Like so. Bend these ones a bit. Like so. And there you go. Isn't that just so adorable? Absolutely, absolutely sweet. Gosh, I have a big mess on my desk. I gotta clean. Any heaving rocks? Love it. Hi. So I am the hands behind the camera. I hope you really enjoyed making this card today. I love it. It is so adorable. Um, I just didn't do the envelope. You know how to do that. I'm just quick, easy peasy. Um, yeah, get it done. But yeah, he is adorable. So tomorrow, I think we're going to be doing the cardinal on the fence, which is going to be cool. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm having so much fun, and I hope you guys are too. Um, so until next time, which is hopefully tomorrow, happy crafting, guys. Bye.